Hey guys, Chris Lost back in our video. Today we have another there we go. NASCAR Authentics unboxing video. So for all of you that don't know, I am actually very excited for this. I am super excited for this. I got two boxes here from Lionel Racing. One of them, very light, probably one car. This one, a little bit heavier, probably three or two cars possibly. This one's pretty, this one's pretty heavy. I don't like this one. So we're gonna start off with the lighter box. So this is the heavier box, this lighter one. Here, here's a comparison. Light box, hard box. It's like all, all light, I don't know. Don't know if there'll be any packing pants in here to enjoy um, Christmas for the next couple minutes. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, you guys, so it's weird to say this, you guys, but I actually did not tell you guys that I pre-ordered some cars, I don't think. I don't know. I told you guys that I did get some, but I never told you guys before, like, hey, I just ordered a bunch. So I actually don't know what's in these boxes. There might be one car. There might be one or two cars in here that I might know of. I know what I pre-ordered, but I'm not going to tell you guys, but I don't know what's in here. I pre my grandma, excuse me, not my grandma, my grandma, my grandma and I pre-ordered these about, about probably, I want to say three or two months ago. And luckily none of the cars that we pre-ordered got canceled so far. Um, except for the Eric Jones Dallas versus everybody car, the Dallas Cowboys car for Eric Jones. Unfortunately that, um, unfortunately that got DMP'd for all versions, even the 164. So that really, really sucks. But there's still a huge chance that Lionel Racing will make it and like, or like maybe like redo it and put it back in the Gold Series or like put in NASCAR Authentics, you know, but it'll be quite a while if that, if that happens. So yeah, Lionel Racing just has been quite the joke. And not only that, but Lionel Racing a while ago said that they were going to make the Justin Haley uh, leaf filter and the um, um, and the Kevin Harvick um, Bush Light Apple car. Well, both of those got DMP'd like not even one week later. Both of those cars, the Justin Haley leaf filter car and the Kevin Harvick Bush Light Apple car got DMP'd right away in like the first couple weeks or something like that. So that got everybody upset. So Lionel Racing has been quite a joke this year, but I tell you what, man, Lionel Racing is is doing way better on their diecast quality in like NASCAR Authentics, you know, like NASCAR Authentics waves, especially PTC mode. The PTC mode really, really improved throughout the last couple of years. I'm very impressed too. After from like wave 13 for 2021 to now 2023 wave five is our newest PTC mode. That's not even new anymore in it's not even out in stores probably yet. Um, I did. I do. I do know that um, my bud Chase Briscoe fan fourteen, he uh, commented in one of my videos saying that his grandma found um, some Wave Five cars. So that was really cool. So we're gonna see what's in these cars. Well, we're gonna see what cars we have in this package. We're gonna start off with the lighter one. This one definitely only has one. So let's just hop right into it. I am so excited. And yes, you guys, these are all 2023s. These are brand new produced 2023 cars. I am so excited. By the way, you guys, Lana Racing changed their boxes. They used to have like a red and white, you know, like box that said like Lana Racing. That's what happened last year. Looks like they just have regular brown boxes, which is kind of lame, not gonna lie. Let's see who we got. And holy crap, we got a gray die cast here. It's only one like I predicted. No packing peanuts. No packing peanuts. But we do have this weird like brown paper. So unfortunately no snow slash packing peanuts. I do apologize about the AC. I put the AC on because it's actually kind of hot today. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that came. I don't want to show you guys the address or anything. But look. Ty Dillon. Ferris. 2023. That's really, really cool. So we got Ty Dillon. We got Ty Dillon's 2023 
Number 77, Chevrolet Camaro Z01 for Spire Motorsports. Number 77, Ferris car. Now, unfortunately for all you guys that love the Ty Dillon, um, number 42, um, Ferris car back in 2022, back at, um, what was it? Charlotte Louisville, Watkins Glen, or some, uh, it was a road course. Kyle Larson crashed right into Ty Dillon, who was driving that number 42 Ferris car last year. That got DMP'd. The only car that I know that did not get DMP'd is the, um, the, um, 124 scale, the 124 scale Elite and the 164 scale, the 2022 Ty Dillon Ferris car number 42 got DMP'd. Luckily, we got it here. I am actually going to unbox these for you guys in today's video. I don't know how many cars there are, but I am going to turn off or turn off this AC. I'm going to turn it off and then keep it down. That way it's still cool in here. It's just not turning off. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is such a cool car. Oh, man. I do apologize that if it's kind of um, dark in here. I am actually going to shut the blinds and put the uh, lights on. And I'm going to slide the door open just a little bit to let some clear in. I will be back in like a minute, you guys. Here, I think that was successful. Now you guys can see the car just a little bit more. This is a beautiful car. And I do apologize about my camera being mirror on mirror mode. I do this all the time with my unboxings just because it makes it so easier. And yes, you guys, 2023 season. Now, it's unfortunate though because I actually did not pre-order or even get an Austin Dillon 2023 car yet. The only reason why I got this, the only reason why I got this Ty Dillon is because I actually do need to upgrade my Spider Motorsports cars, especially for number 77 cars. And now I did, the sad thing is that I don't know, the sad thing is that I don't know when Lion Racing, or excuse me, I don't know when Lion Racing is gonna make another um, Spider Motorsports number 77 car. Might be produced next year, a couple maybe, who knows. Not only that, but, well, I don't know, man. We just don't know. Uh, we also don't know where Ty Dillon's going to be driving in the 2024 season. He might go back to Xfinity. He might go back to trucks. Like I said, who knows? So hopefully, you know, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can find Ty Dillon a ride next year. That would be really, really cool. All right, guys, I just got done taking a drink of water. But yeah, folks, as I was saying, we're going to move on to this gigantic box. Now, if there is more than three cars in here, if there's three cars or more, I will call this NASCAR Diecast Unboxing a 2023 haul. Hopefully this is a haul. I want this to be a haul, but at the same time, I really want to do more of these videos before I just get, you know, all that crap, you know? So there's got to be at least two cars in here. We're going to go ahead and open up this box. Or no, go ahead and open up this box here. Hopefully we have something good. Because I love doing this video. I love doing these videos. And the fact that we're probably going to have over one, over two cars in this package. There's the packing slip. I'm not going to look at that yet. We're going to open up this package here. Looks like you can kind of see a car. I cannot tell who it is. I know you guys can't really see either. So we're going to move this camera down just a little bit. There we go. And holy cow, folks. We got ourselves a colleague. Hold on. We got ourselves a colleague racing die cast, folks. Holy cow, this is a beautiful car. This is a this is AJ Almendinger's 2023 gain slash food city car. This is a beautiful car. The green and orange are a lot brighter than the uh, Ty Dillon game car from last year, I feel like. And who knows? Maybe we'll actually have this car and the Justin Haley, if the Justin Haley is in this box, you know, in the NASCAR Authentics um, waves. That would be really cool. I, I have a feeling that they will not because Colored Racing really isn't that big. I mean, Colic Racing is really good in the Xfinity Series, but the Cup Series, they're kind of mid. 
But this is a perfect timing to re to review an AJ, uh, AJ Allmendinger car because he just won. And by you, not you guys. This is my first ever college racing. This is my first ever college racing next gen car. My first ever college racing next gen car. And it comes to AJ Allmendinger, which is probably not a surprise. I did pre order the Justin Haley Mountain Dew car, so hopefully that doesn't get DMP'd. If it doesn't, that would be absolutely amazing. Lionel Racing is not DMPing a lot of race cars throughout the last month or two. So, and like I see, guys, beautiful car. I love A.G. Allmendinger's cars, and I love him himself. Man, this is my first ever time having a number 16 car. It's so cool having an A.J. Allmendinger car. Oh, my gosh, dude. And not only that, but the crazy, I'm doing a Crazy Alice Cup Series, you know? So these will be actually in my races, these, this AJ Omnia car and this Tidal car. All the cars that I'm unboxing today will be at least in one race for Crazy Dallas Cup Series. So that is so cool, you guys. Here's our buildup so far. We got two beautiful cars here. The AJ Omnia definitely smacks hard. But the Ty Dillon, I love that, um, you know, the maroon red. But the AJ Omnia car just smacks right now. That is a beautiful car. Now we got more packing slips. Oh, shoot. We got another car. Who do we got? It is. It's official. We got ourselves the car I have been waiting for for months. Maybe even a year. We finally have a Justin Haley car. I am tearing up right now, dude. Justin Haley is my favorite one. Well, not my favorite, but one of my favorite drivers in the Cup Series. He's... He's so cool. He's relaxed. He's very kind. He's very chill guy. He's just that one. He's just that one driver that can't win in the Cup Series, but he's awesome. I'm I'm pretty sure that nobody hates Justin Haley. This is Justin Haley's 2023 number 31 Tide slash Food City car. Oh my God! I freaking love this car. The 31 does look a little bit small um, on the sides, and so does the 16. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or if Lionel Racing kind of, you know, kind of screwed that up. Because the 77 is definitely bigger, but that's because they're two different, you know, racing companies or whatever. Yeah, the 77 is definitely bigger. We've, we've seen this before, but I think it's, I think it's supposed to be like that in my opinion, but... I really don't mind. As long as the number's there and you can see it, I'm okay with it. The front, the top looks amazing. I love that yellow. The yellow is very bright. bright. The yellow is very vibrant. And I love the blue. The blue on this car is amazing. I think um, these two cars, the A.J. Allmendinger and the Justin Haley, were, um, drove, they were, um, they raced these cars back at Bristol Dirt, which Christopher Bell won at Bristol Dirt. And speaking of Christopher Bell, he just won yesterday, so pretty cool that Christopher Bell won. I'm going to take a drink really quick. Good old water. Stay hydrated. Yeah, really nice car. I love this car, man. I am so happy that this actually got produced. I really want to keep these cars in the box. But at the same time, I just love playing with them. But I am going to open up all of these for you guys so you guys can see them. And let's go ahead and get into another car. Looks like we got some more packing paper. There's another packing paper. And we do have one more car. I repeat, we do have one more car. We have one more car. It's a car that I absolutely love, but I'm sure all of you are not going to be surprised at this one, um, that I got this one. Um, whether you guys hate me or not, I love Noah Gregson, even with that stupid call by NASCAR. I don't care if you guys hate Noah Gregson, if you guys hate me. I love Noah Gregson, just like Chase Elliott, Justin Haley, you know, any of those guys, A.G. Allmendinger, whoever, Ty Newman, whatever. Any of those guys. I love all the Chevrolet drivers. That I know of anyways. So this is a. Legacy Motor Club car. 
This um no this was ran at Talladega, um during the regular season, the ninth race or the tenth race of the season or whatever, that um for who won? Kyle Busch won. This was Talladega. Um, unfortunately, Noah Gregson was leading this race. Noah Gregson could have won if he did really good, but Chastain tried to uh, go to the inside of him, and fortunately, Chastain, or excuse me, unfortunately, Noah Gregson could not make the move. He tried to block him, but he couldn't block him, so Noah Gregson um, um, got out of line, and he wrecked up front. But yeah, this is Noah Gregson's 2023 Wendy's. Don't know if you guys can see that. Biggie bag. This is the Wendy's Biggie bag car. I do love this car a lot. Not even gonna lie, this is a beautiful car. I do love the red, white, and blue. I always love all the Wendy's cars that have been produced so far in NASCAR. That is because. You know, all of these Wendy's cars are just so awesome, you guys. I love me some Wendy's, too. I am just speechless, man. I am so happy that we got these cars. These cars are absolutely amazing. I am so excited to review them. But I am going to review these later today. Probably in about an hour or two because I am getting kind of hungry. I think I'm going to have a snack and chill out for a little bit. Um, but I think I'm actually going to do a video later today. Like in an hour or two. And I'm going to unbox these for you guys in another video. But here's the thing, you guys. I will edit out this video and put this video in, obviously. And then when I make the video, when I, you know, unbox all of these cars and that same video in this video so that way they're both that way both of these video both of those this video in the in this video that i'll be unboxing these will be in the same video i'll edit those out for you guys it's been a long day dude i tell you what that this week has already been really long it's only one day last week was very long hopefully this week won't be too long I only have three days of school due to conferences, so I don't have school on Friday or Thursday, and today's Monday, so it's just tomorrow and Wednesday, so that's really fun. I'm super excited when school gets done after this week. I will have a four-day week, so anyways, that's really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, beautiful cars, beautiful cars. I'm trying to see if you guys can see them all. There we go. I freaking love these cars, dude. Anyways, you guys, as I was, as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said, folks, um, if you guys do want to see one of those um, unboxings, then, um, you know, you guys will be able to watch them. I am actually not going to edit out this video. Well, I will, but like... I am going to be making a video later today of me unboxing these. Um, it'll be quite a while for today because of that. So yeah, um, I will be making a, another video in this. And I will edit it out. Like I said, you guys. So yeah. Um, hey guys, that's the plan. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this video. And I will continue this video though for the unboxing.